Police convoys transport suspects to a purpose-built courthouse in central Paris. Among them, Salah Abdel Slam, the only man to face murder charges for the carnage on November 13, 2015. The 31-year-old is the sole surviving member of that night's commando, making him a key suspect. Judges are seeking to find out if he abandoned plans to blow himself up or if his bomb failed to detonate. On day one of the trial, he wore a black T-shirt and a thick beard. Abdeslam's first words to the courtroom were a prayer. Then, when asked to state his profession, he said he gave up working to become an Islamic State fighter. Thirteen other men are being called to the stand, accused of planning or financing the attacks. Five are presumed to be dead and one is still on the loose. On the plaintiff's side, some 1,800 victims and 330 lawyers are taking part in what has become France's biggest trial in history. Here we are. It's been six years, almost six years. So now we'll be able to know the rest, to get some answers to our questions. Maybe not all of them, but at least this will help us to move on. They won't be able to get the answer to many questions. Why is the question? Why target young French people in these conditions? Why target people who might even believe in the same religion as themselves? Why so much violence? The court proceedings opened with roll calls. The crucial witness testimonies are to begin September 28th, and the whole trial is to last nine months.